Mm, let's introduce uh, the Earth STM capture recopulation project. So this whole uh, code fields has been included in the document. The capture input and capture uh, Python fields, which is used to generate automatically generates uh, the uh, capture image. Then I use the uh, capture Python keys to automatically generate this, this whole images, which means that um, if I if I call the function from the capture input, I can use the key to generate the capture image, and also this for this whole functions can transform the data side to standard TensorFlow format for further training parts. The whole parts uh, of the field can make some changes for the uh, capture image itself, like uh, it can add the colors to the it can add up colors to the text and uh, change the back change the background. Also, it can add some lore to the image and change the height and width of the of the whole text. Also, for the after I generated the sam the samples, I can call the training part to automatically flash the the full con connection and uh, RNN function calling in TensorFlow. Evaluate it from uh, after I make some uh, estimation, I refer to some some other research and and make some make some loss prediction in this part. After I generate the samples of the capture images, I can call the train Python fails to process uh, to make the process of the tra uh, RNN training itself. There are two models for RNN training parts, training from scratch and the train. Uh, if I choose the train from scratch, I can I can generate the use user checkpoints to go on the last time training training work. If there and if there is no TF record uh, documents, which means that uh, I have not uh, generated any simple datasets, it will print out the error. If I choose the uh, train mode, it will automatically generate the runs with uh, time random documents, which which will save the summary and the checkpoints. Which I can use this uh, summary and ch checkpoints to gen to generate the statistics uh, analysis through the tensor board. Also, this fields also this fields uh, gen generates. Uh, also, I realize some functions to operate some some supervisor works for the training parts. It's a uh, it's more or less like the uh, supervisor and uh, training methods. And uh, after I use and uh, because there was an uh, iteration training uh, works, so whereas it will always uh, take a long time for the for the whole training part. Real experiments. I compare three methods through this project and uh, give some statistics for the final result. And uh, so let's uh, go on our exp in our experiments in details. So first, I go to the go to the uh, document path, which is so. I first want to generate the capture images, so I call the function the code file. It will automatically generate the data size. Which I said uh, the the data size is no more no more than four gigabytes. It will take a long time to generate out the four gigabytes images. So after I generate uh, the training data science and the test the data science, I will I will we will find that the all data side was saved in the runs document, which has been transmitted. Capture data size, we can. We can find that all this data set has been transmitted transformed into a TensorFlow format, which has been saved in the TF records documents. So, if I if we go to the 
can't see the documents. We can see the so the test GTF records and train GTF records all have been saved and generated automatically uh, corresponding here. And uh, both of them is no no larger than four gigabytes as we I mentioned before. If I finish uh, finish the samples generation, I can call the I can directly call the, to go on the so as a first so at first we can see that so the uh, estimation of the loss part is merely three point seven eight is is and the accuracy as a first is a zero. But after uh, a long term training process, it will reach up to accuracy will reach up to nine uh, nearly one uh, ninety three percent. And the, and the loss will reach uh, nearly 0 0.01. It will take a long time to fill the part, but uh, uh, before this, I've, I've just trained the, the three methods for uh, for a long time, and uh, by using the tensor board, we can we can estimate is the final uh, the final result. After keeping on training for the project, some records in uh, has been saved saved for um, by the tensorflow um, which has been put in the summaries so i decide, uh, so i use a tensor board to give some give the uh, these records in visualization so first uh, i go to the uh, tensor board and uh, rules and uh, use the tensor board to call the functions so So I use the tensorflow function uh, instructions here. Uh, tensorflow automatically collect to collect the tensorflow records and into our local host with uh, by uh, through the port six zero zero six. So when we when we connect to the tensor tensor box uh, through the six zero zero six, we uh, can find the, the development part uh, records and the training records which has been saved in this part. So if we if we go to the graphic part, we can see that uh, this the, the this whole part is our is a is our deep learning training process. So there was uh, summarizing uh, six lo uh, pass, uh, local parse training and uh, local parse saving and there was a forced connection for, for immunization and the input producer. So we can also see the, from the uh, pipeline of the Training training process is as uh, we I just mentioned before that the moment two and uh, gradients to to realize the CTC and STM algorithms and use the uh, for backing tracking algorithm to train for the for the loss prediction and uh, e re 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 reparation. And there's some accuracy for this part. We can see that the accuracy after after sixteen thousand six sixty thousand uh, sample training, the accuracy is approximate to uh, one point zero, and the uh, loss of the report is going to, from this three point seven to down to the down to. Nearly down to the zero one. Uh, so the relative 
train uh, so the training time here I just use only use two, two days and 19, 19 hours to finish the whole part so this this means that so uh, by using the neighborhood decoding and uh, the and R um, for the RN LSTM and CTC models you can get a great results for the capture recognition itself so compared to the other two, two decoding algorithms neighborhood decoding algorithm only not only can reduce the time complexity and also it can result in a better accuracy in, in, tra in the training part